That is why we are calling on the owners of the market, the Abuja Investment and FCDA, to come to address the fate of these uh, affected traders because what happened is avoidable, it is unwarranted, it is not their problem. So, the tax force is the employees of Abuja Investment, so they should come and intervene in this situation to indemnify the affected traders and restore them to their former position. That's the position of the stakeholders of the market. Uh, an unfortunate incident. It is avoidable. It shouldn't have happened. But here we are. It is a reality. We regret it. No one would have lost his life. No one would, should have lost his or her properties. In fact, the loss cannot really be made. Uh, quantified because we are really confused right now because of the great loss. So, and it has really affected us seriously bad. Uh, it should just come to our aid. Somebody is dead, our source of livelihood is gone. You can go and see for yourself. Our shop, my shop, burned down. This man sells bag, his shop went down. The other man selling bag, his shop, his shop went down who blame the Nigeria Correctional Service and who blame the task force people. They did not undo this issue in a very civil way. You don't have to kill somebody. The guy did not steal. What was the offense of the guy that is walking around? That's the offense. It's not a criminal. You don't have to shoot him. The guy is already on anchor. And as a young man, he was just trying to he was just trying to be smart. He wanted to run. He's already on anchor. How fast can somebody on anchor run? An issue like this, they will handle it with a human face. They should not be using gun in cities inside the market. There's a way to catch people inside the market. That's what they're begging the police. They stop shooting people. You may call them out and shoot them, they will come after you and scatter the whole market. So we're begging government to stop shooting innocent Nigerians inside the market.